Toby Rama ain't playing no games. This is your boy, me, welcome to the channel where anime and manga means more, and this time we're reviewing Naruto chapter 624. During the family fight, their pops tried to knock the kids off. Madara and Hashirama intervene, and, but the truce is called off, and Madara's Sharing Gun is awakened. Over the years, Madara and Hashirama get into about a million squabbles, right? And they become the head of their respective clans. During one of their scraps, Toby Rama knocked Izuna off. Madara comes back with his new eyes to take out um, Hashirama, but he still gets popped. After that, Toby Rama tried to pluck Madara, but Hashirama still had one final offer for him. Okay, this chapter, I liked it. I thought it was a good chapter. Why? Because one of the things I was saying before, they didn't make the war look real. They made it look real now. As soon as they went into battle, the two fathers went straight for the kids. Let's pluck these two. Like, let's take out the weakest link and then and defeat these guys. That seemed like something that would happen in a real fight. And it made it seem more real. Like, these guys really didn't like each other. <laughs> they were willing to do whatever it took to win. You know, even if it meant plucking these kids. Toby Rama was funny. He didn't play. Like, when he said he didn't like those Uchiha's, man, when I'm watching these flashbacks, like, he just plucked Izuna. When he when he knocked Izuna off, I was just laughing so hard. Like, he went straight in. He wasn't playing no games with the guy. He said, I'm done fighting you. This is our last battle. <laughs> and that makes sense that Madara would be mad at Hashirama because... But it would make more sense that he'd be mad at Toby Rama because... Toby Rama's the one who did it. It's not like Toby Rama died and he the only person he can get back at was Hashirama. Toby Rama was still there. But it does make sense that he would hate them, you know. So that makes that clears things up a little bit. So that was good. Also, the Uchiha Senju thing, that was kind of cleared up a bit. Because a lot of the Uchiha was moving over to the Senju clan because, you know, so Madara really didn't have much of a choice because the Senju was too strong. It was they weren't equal. To Senju was stronger and um Hashirama was stronger, so the the Uchiha was losing. So some of the Uchiha was like, Man, I don't wanna deal with this anymore. I'm moving over to the Senju. They're gonna wipe us out at some point in time. You know, it was like they weren't being overwhelmed, but it was it see it doesn't seem like they were being overwhelmed, but at the end of the day they were gonna lose. They were fighting a losing battle. They were slowly being, you know, whittled down. So some of the uh, Uchiha was moving over, so they had the bell. So now Madara was at the point where even though Hashirama made him an offer, he, he can't make no demands. They're going to lose anyway. So that's why we already know that uh, Toby Rama didn't kill us. He didn't kill Toby Rama. So unless he brought him back, which I doubt it. <laughs> but we already know. We're pretty sure he didn't kill Toby Rama. So, and he doesn't, he's not in a position to make any demands. But anyway, overall, this was a good chapter. Go ahead and leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Rate the video and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.